Hey, this is YBR back with Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox, and today we're going to take the default boat, which looks like this, and make it into a proper amphibious vehicle. Because if you remember correctly, in my previous video, I demonstrated that you can drive this thing on land. It's just not a very pleasant experience because you have so little control over the direction it goes. For example, I'm going full tilt to the right, and it's just, it just kind of lazily goes to the right just a little bit full tilt to the left very lazy movements like that while it's on the land so my goal is to make its land mobility better while hopefully not ruining its ability to drive in the water let's see if we can do that so let's go ahead and duplicate the stock boat so that way if anything goes wrong i need to totally restart we can do that because the default boat is still there I think just throwing some tires on this will be all I need to do because that'll give it the grip it needs on the land so it'll actually be a good vehicle to drive on the land and then it should hopefully also still work as a boat because I'm not changing too much to it to actually affect that I'm thinking. So the way I'm going to add the tires, I already have a plan actually for this, is we're going to take some long pipes and we're going to attach them to, hmm, okay, well my plan's ruined, I, was, I could actually I could adjust, but I was going to attach it to the underside of the, uh, the boat. But you can't do that, so we're attaching it to the side right there like that. Because that works. It's not uh, exactly what I was planning, but it'll work out. What the what? I just spawned one and it disappeared. I don't know where it ended up at. How weird. So we'll put another one on it. Rotate it. I can never guess which way it's going to... I always forget which way it's going to rotate. So it's like, oh, I rotated it way too much five times in a row. And we got it right there. There we go. There's another one. And one more there. And that looks like we're gonna have, we gotta put a little bit of beefy tires on this thing. But once we put the suspension hubs on it, that'll increase the ground clearance even more. So it should all work out. Like, I don't have to worry too much about ground clearance, because as long as I got a little bit of beefy tires on this thing. Because watch, if I put this on, see the tires are starting like right there, right at the bottom of things. It's perfect. Perfect, dude. Whoa. That's fine. I like it when I don't have to rotate things, like, and the game just guesses right. Like, this is the way you want it, yeah? Yeah. See, like that. It's even nicer when it flips the part over for me so I could click on it. So there we go. Something like that. Oh, you didn't rotate that one the right way. And then we just put some wheels on it, and then that's, that's great. That's an amphibious vehicle. So, uh, how big do the wheels need to be? Are those ones big enough? Okay, oh, oh, well that's unfortunate, apparently, yeah, half of the vehicle was hidden, you couldn't see it, so, we don't need big tires, we need like monster truck tires, and I think there are monster truck tires, which might be enough to make this work out, I didn't expect it to be like this, but that's the way it's gonna be, we're gonna make an amphibious monster truck then, so monster truck big tires, whoops, not off-road. Monster truck. Big. Whoa! I have flipped the vehicle over. There we go. Does that have enough ground clearance? That has ground clearance. Uh, that one doesn't quite have ground clearance, does it? So let me increase the height of the rears just a little bit. It's actually unexpected. I didn't think the rears would have no ground clearance. But the front would. Okay, that's weird. Like half... What the... Uh, that's the wheel hub. I have no idea what it's doing. It's not doing what it's supposed to do, but it's over there doing stuff. And this one's also glitched out. It's like half invisible. So let's just clean those up. I don't know what they're doing. I don't want to mess with them, so go away. All right, now we're going to just uh, get a cube right here. And we're just going to strap a cube to this. Just a nice, simple way to get a little bit extra height out of it. I mean, if I wanted to make it look fancy, I could go and make a custom length pipe and all that. But I'm not that particular. Like, I'm perfectly happy just throwing an extra cube on it and saying, like, that's it, we're good. Because it's just, it's just, it's, it's not wasting a lot of your guys' time by doing that. I'm not trying to make a pretty vehicle necessarily, even though it doesn't change it much in terms of looks. I'm just trying to make a, a vehicle that's interesting. Because it's an amphibious, well, monster truck now. Before it was just a normal amphibious vehicle, now it's an amphibious monster truck. So there we go, that should work out. Bake it up, come into here. Change the tires to be monster truck tires, and hopefully that'll give us the ground clearance we need. And, you know, one thing I didn't consider is if it's enough ground clearance for the suspension to actually be able to actually do its job, like, without bottoming out too hard. 
So it's probably going to definitely bottom out when we go over some jump, bumps and jumps and stuff. The, I, I think it'll be okay, though. I think it'll still drive. <laughs> it'll drive better than it did before, I bet you. So now that we got the tires on it, the next thing we need to do is make them where we could actually steer them. So go and grab this tire and this tire. We'll just have the front two wheels of steering. No crazy four-wheel steering on this. And go ahead and uh, where is link to the chair. And let's increase the max angle to about 25. Just a little bit more than 10. 10 just, it doesn't seem like it's enough most of the time. So we can make it, can steer a left wheel. And this one can be just can steer. And I think... All that should make it work, so let's uh, test it out, make sure this, all the buttons are right, because I always end up messing that up, it seems like. Let's go ahead and test the controls. Looks good. Oh. Okay, I don't know if I wanted to do that. Uh, if you notice right here, like this, it moves the the all the like water parts and the land parts at the same time. I don't think I want to do that. I want to have them separate, just in case, like... I don't know, it just seems like you would have some issues if you're doing both at the same time. So I could actually separate these out. I could take the ones for the, the tires and put them on axis horizontal too, which means instead of using, using WASD to control that one, you use the arrow keys, which I think will work a lot better. So now we could go ahead and check that one out. So WASD does the things on the back like that, no problem. And then the arrow keys does the steering. There we go. That's what I want. I think it'll work better that way. And, um... Let's see if it works, I guess. That's really all there is left is to see if it actually works. I mean, I have confidence that it'll probably work. I'm really hoping it will. I mean, I could have kind of test drove it there, but there's not really enough room to test drive. Oh, that looks like it looks kind of like it's ready to go because it like, has like a downward slant to it almost because of the crazy tire setup I have. All right. It works great on land. It works really good on land. Look at that. It's faster on land with tires, definitely. Like, it wasn't going no 160 kilometers an hour before. 200 almost kilometers an hour before. It was going 100 if it was lucky. So this thing works good for land right now. And Let's see. I'm curious if it was a good idea to... Oh, yeah. Eh, I guess it really didn't matter if I... No, actually, it does. Right now, what I, I'll explain what I was doing. I'm like talking like random, and you're like, "What in the world is YBR talking about?" I was seeing how what happens if I try to control it with both the uh, the the land and water pieces at the same time, and it seems to slow you down a lot. Like when you use just the tires to churn, you don't lose much momentum, but when you use the all those rudders and stuff that are attached to it, you lose a lot of speed that way because it just changes the air resistance so much. Where the tires, they kind of keep your speed. So this thing still works great. Well, actually, it works even better on land, I should say. Like, it was okay on land, now it actually works really well on land. The question is just, does it still work in the water? Like, we might go in the water and it just might sink, and then I'm gonna cry. It better not sink. I hope it just goes right in and without a problem, and then it'll be the amphibious monster truck. One thing I should have done is made the camera movable from the outside. It doesn't seem like I can move it. Oh, it flies a little bit. Oh, that's no... Okay. Like, I, my hand wasn't even on the the wheel or anything to be to the game's fault. Like, that was me. That was me. I, I, I think. I don't know. I'm scared. Please work in the water still. How well was the steering in the water? Because the steering seems to be terrible right now. No, it, look. Look, it does work. It works. It works great. I made an amphibious vehicle. An amphibious monster truck to boot. It's just, that's just so dumb and awesome. I have made my amphibious monster truck, and it's actually faster on land than water. Well, it should be if it wasn't going uphill. You saw it going fast. That's cool. That's it's so it's stupid and insane of a vehicle, but it's cool. Yeah, having the wheels separate is definitely a good idea, though. Just seems to drive it a lot better that way. The, it's, the turning radius for the boat is kind of garbage compared to the actual car part now. The car is so good, the boat feels bad. But I think the turning radius is about the same as the stock boat. Maybe a little bit worse, but not significantly. Oh, you know what we need, though? We need more power. That's obviously the problem. We need more power. It's not going to help the turning radius at all. But more power is always nice. 
So let's uh let's go ahead and tweak this thing to get some more power out of it. Goodbye! That's a crazy car. I like this car. I should give it a name. We're gonna call it the uh Ampy Amphi let's just call it the Amphi truck. That's what it is, it's an amphibious truck. And change vehicle name. All caps, yep, uh-huh. I ain't messing around. That's why it's all caps. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that engine out to be something even uh even better. Like even bigger, I mean. So let's go ahead and uh disconnect the engine. How is it connected even? Ooh. Well oh, that's a weird way to connect it. So that means it's gonna ah it's gonna be a pain to add the engine. Alright, what engine do I want? What's the biggest engine they got? Like, there's one engine that's so big, I have no idea what to do with it. We're gonna strap it to this thing. I think it's the jet engine. Yes! It's like, half the size of this thing. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to modify the length of this piece, though, because... Yeah, that's definitely not centered up. Mm-mm. So, let's see. Maybe if I was to... Oh! Trying to count. How long is this one? Stop counting the wrong way. Screw it, we'll just guess it. Because I can't seem to click it right. So, is that the piece I want to get rid of, or is it the next one? So the next one I want to get rid of, this one. There we are. And we need a shorter one, so we'll try, I'm thinking, maybe a six long. Like a line six, that might be the right length. How do they attach it to there, is there a... Oh, you can kind of go like this, right? There we are. And then we get the rocket. Let's grab from there. And... there. Ha ha! Is that centered? Yes, that is centered. That looks great. That's perfect. We got a rocket-powered <laughs> amphibious monster truck. That's definitely even better. All right. So let's see if it works. I gotta first. Uh, let's see. Input controller. The chair. And then show RPM. The chair. Okay. And then I gotta get the fuel, which is all hidden away under here. You know, that's not much fuel, actually. I might have to replace the fuel, too, because that thing is... That thing's probably just going to suck right through all this fuel in an instant. Alright, is that all the fuel there is? Yeah, that's it. I might have to be redoing the underside on this thing. So, let's see. Does the jet-powered amphibious monster truck <laughs> work? Like, this vehicle's getting more and more stupid every time I go into the map editor. It's also getting more and more cool, though, as far as I'm concerned. Like, that jet engine is just like, it's winding up, it's going... In reverse! I put the engine on backwards! <laughs> Good job, you dummy! I wasn't paying attention, that's all. Like, I, I, if, you, if I look at an engine, I know it should be how it should look. I just didn't look at it, because it's so big, I just, oh yeah, that's backwards. There we go. Try that again. And out of here. I really love how crazy this thing is. It's like, first, let me make an amphibious vehicle. Then, let me make an amphibious monster truck. And then, let me make a rocket-powered amphibious monster truck. It's just like, how insane can you make it? I don't even know where to go from here to make it even more crazy and insane. Maybe add some wings to it, but I'll have to do that in a later video because I don't know the difference between all the wings. Um, but what I'm thinking is, it'll handle basically the same as the one where it had, well, what it was before basically, but it should be able to go a lot faster. Like right now I have 11,000 RPMs on the engine, and if I remember correctly, that engine goes up to 50,000. So this will probably be faster than the actual vehicle is able to go because of, with that engine. Because I doubt this thing is going to be able to go much more than maybe 400 kilometers an hour, maybe 300 even. Because it's so ridiculously top heavy. And one thing I noticed is it wants to flip over when I use the steering on the wheels. So I'm actually using the boat steering right now to keep it stable at higher speeds. See, it's a, so it's like a win, it's a win lose situation kind of thing. Like, it works better at low speeds when you have the big number on the tires. But at high speeds you're going to lose. So since I separated them out... We could use the boat controls at high speeds, and it actually seems to be working. I'm slowly upping the speed, by the way, just to kind of see at what point it flips over. 
And like I said, I'm thinking about 300 kilometers an hour is going to be its limit. And I do notice it's bottoming out. That's why we keep losing speed every now and then. That's from it bottoming out. So I might have to uh, do something about that later on as well. But you got you, can le you learn. You learn your lessons about... Well, you know, I didn't expect to have to put giant tires on it in the first place because I thought that the... Um, the the uh the rudders and stuff were all fully visible but they were hidden underground so i didn't know that i'm just slowly bringing the speed up though so it can't go 300 but i i don't feel safe going about 300 kilometers an hour i feel safe going 200 ish 300 scary like 300 feels like it'll flip at any second you see that it's like oh, i'm gonna flip you better not flip i'm gonna flip you better not flip just the whole way i'm flipping Ah, yes you are. Oh, we ran out of fuel too. Hey, the only reason they flipped over is because I ran out of fuel. Yeah, that's my excuse. So it still works on land and it just goes faster. Nothing to complain about there. How's it work on the water? I'm assuming it should still work perfectly fine on the water. I just typed E accidentally. Ah. I did that before actually, didn't I? How weird. I don't even remember typing E accidentally the first time. Alright, so let's go into the water and see if it still works there. Just drive right into the water. Oh, that is a thing of beauty, just being able to literally drive straight into the water and transition to in a boat like that. It's just beautiful. Alright, how fast can we take this thing? I'm assuming, again, it won't be able to make use of all the speed we can get, just because that is a big rocket engine that can go fast. I'm probably using the wrong name for that engine, and somebody's gonna be mad about that, but it's just easy for me to think rocket engine, rocket engine. This thing feels very unstable. I'm thinking what like it's gonna flip over real soon, but it's able to go about 200 kilometers an hour in the water. No, it's not. So it flipped over and okay, it's a plane now. It wants to be a plane. Just kill the engine. Oh, okay, the killing the engine maybe not a good idea. No, it was a good idea. We're upright. That is an amazing recovery. The one thing I may want, though, is more fuel because we're already down to 15 fuels, which isn't much. The vehicle itself has 75 fuel. I don't know what a fuel is. Maybe it's liters. Uh, it doesn't specify, so I'm just going to assume it's liters since the speed's in kilometers an hour. We're down to 3 liters of fuel, 2 liters, and we're gone. So I might want to add more fuel to this thing because we are now out of fuel. Um, but those are like minor tweaks. I don't know if I'll really do them on camera here. Actually, I'll do them. Why not? We'll do some minor tweaks to this thing. So I'm not exactly sure if I'll actually drive this again, but I wanted to just uh, record some of the tweaks because there are things that I haven't done before in this game on camera. One of which is changing the suspension strength. So by default, I think the force is maxed out, but you can increase the damp force some more to hopefully make it where the vehicle won't bottom out. I don't know if that's enough to uh, make it not bottom out, but I hope I know just increasing it will make it bottom out less, which should at least help. I'm afraid to increase it too much, though, because it might negatively affect stability because it's so ridiculously top-heavy, this thing. Uh, but we can try to fix the top-heaviness, too. I can go ahead and try, like, removing a lot of these fuel tanks and replacing it with a big, fat one that's a little lower to the ground. My only concern would be is if it'll uh, mess up the... Uh, what's it called? I forget what I was thinking. I got so... It, like focused on what I was doing. I totally lost my train of thought What is this thing is it like a battery? Oops Battery gyro disc Hmm Do I want a gyro disc? I mean, I guess it's there for a reason. I don't know what the battery's there for though I'll just leave the battery I guess oh I bet it's for the lights up there Okay, we'll leave the battery. Let's go ahead and uh, add some big fuel. Like, I think one big fuel tank is like a thousand. Where the small ones are nothing compared to that. And I gotta add it in a way that's centered. And then it'll hopefully lower the mass of the vehicle. Which makes it less of a monster truck, unfortunately. But it'll make it where it might be more stable when you drive it. So if we did that. Is that centered up? I look centered to me. Go and bake that. And we can connect this to this. 
connect it to there so we can see how much I have. Bake it and we'll go ahead and test it out. But I'm honestly not sure if I'll be able to notice a difference. Like I'll definitely notice the additional fuel. But the way it affects the weight distribution and stuff, that's that's some real fine stuff where I don't know if I really can tell. Like maybe in the water it might also make a difference too because it's um, like affecting the way it hits the water, which could be a negative thing actually. Like it might make the front sink faster because it has more weight in the front now. I don't know. I'm just guessing things right here. The one thing is, man, it it does feel like worse in the water. Feels good. It still feels good on land, but it feels a little worse in the water. The extra feel though is definitely nice. I mean, you can still drive it in the water, no problem. It just feels like its ability to churn us has been worsened even more than before. How's land? Is land improved at all? I mean, the good news is the fuel helping so much. Like, we'd be out of fuel already by now. Uh, land might be a little bit better because I did a churn using the tires at 260 miles per hour, which you couldn't normally do. If you tried to do that, you'd flip over. Like, about 300 kilometers an hour is where you'd usually flip over, it seems like. And we're about hitting that, and we haven't flipped over yet, which is a good sign. I think it's a little bit better on the land. Not like significantly, because I still feel like I'm going to flip over, but we haven't yet. Even though we're going at 350 just now, I just increased the speed a bit. But we haven't flipped over yet, so it's a little bit better on land, a little bit worse on the water. And, man, this thing is so wants to fly, doesn't it? Like, it looks like it wants to fly so badly. I got to just figure out what wings I would actually want for it, though. I know it says exactly what the wings are for and stuff, I just haven't had a chance to read them yet, and I don't want to be reading things on camera because that's boring. So I'll eventually maybe add wings to this, or I might not. I'm not sure yet. Um, and I don't know, I mean, here's the thing, for, this vi for these videos, for this game, it's like I just look through the comments and it's like, ooh, I like that idea the best. And then I do that idea usually. So, whatever you guys want to see in the next video for this game, please leave a comment for it, and that'll probably help determine what I do. Like, if I have no ideas that sound better than just adding some wings to this thing, I'll probably add some wings to this thing. If somebody else has, like, an awesome idea where it's like, you know, maybe I want to do that instead, I'll do that instead. It just depends. You know, it just depends. So, till next time, this is YBR, making boats that can fly almost, that are monster trucks, that are amphibious crazy things. I don't even know what to call this thing. It's insane. Um, but I'll see you next time. Here's a random outtake at the end since you watched it all the way through. I don't know exactly what caused this, but, uh, well, look at this. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Those wheels should be attached to something. Like, it just blows the wheel hubs apart. I have no idea what I did to cause that. And I have to rebuild it, I think, for it to work, and I hope it doesn't still do this. Obviously, you'll know if it still does this because you'll, I've seen the video. But that's, um... That's bad. I mean, that's really bad. I don't know how I did that. It won't stay attached and it keeps exploding sounds going over it and... Man, it's bad. <laughs> Look at it, it's in the roof. My boat's stuck in the roof. Alright, random outtake over.